Hey everyone, uh, this is Dan here, and I just wanted to make a video um, to show off some of my recent pickups from the LCS. I'll kind of explain how the bins work and everything like that at my local card store and see some of the deals I've got. I'll go sit there for a few hours, just pick through and leave with maybe $20 worth of stuff, but it's always worth, you know, significantly more than that. So I know there's already a million sports cards channels on YouTube, but I figured I'd throw my hat in the ring and make it a million and one. I don't really have too many friends close to me that are very interested in sports cards the way that I am at least. So I'd rather share with some people online, maybe get connected with some of you guys within the hobby and just be able to show off what I found. Um, and, you know, just get to talk with people who have similar interests. And uh, I think this should be fun for me. So some things to look forward to before I get started. Uh, I sent in my first ever grading order. I sent it to Boca, who submitted to SGC, their group submitter. It was only $15 a card, so I kind of had to do it. I know PSA obviously has the most value, carries the most value with their grades, and I do plan on sending some cards to PSA. I just need to get some money saved up in order to submit to PSA. I'm a college student, uh, and I'm working part-time while doing classes, so I can't really, um, can't really afford that at the moment. Anyways, enough blabbering, just gonna start showing you stuff. All these, these cards here, plus these, and then one top of the card here, which I'll show towards the end. So the way the bins work at my LCS is it's it's a dollar box, um, but if you get enough, they're 50 cents a piece. So if you get 10 cards, it's $5 um, for those cards. So I usually just try to take them out in multiples of five. This time I didn't. If you get five cards, it's $3, so that's kind of what I rounded it out with. Um, but I found some unbelievable stuff this time. I just want to show off some stuff I found in the past uh, for 50 cents. Again, I pick out usually multiples of 10 and make sure that I get them for 50 cents a piece um, or just under the dollar mark. So uh, let me show off some stuff that I found before so you get a gist of kind of what you should see from this time. So I got this Quinn Williams Mosaic. This one's numbered out of 49 up there. He just got re-signed. It's pretty cool. Big Ben numbered card. You know, nothing too expensive, but it's Big Ben and numbered. Drew Brees, I believe it's a Letterman set, Topps Letterman, something like that. Also numbered 949. Two Hall of Fame number cards, that's cool. T-Law rookie, uh, Howell rookie, Jamar Chase rookie, you know, Panini rookie. It's from the Father's Day, I think. Um, oh, Player of the Day. I got a few different Player of the Day rookies. Keenan Allen, Topps Platinum rookie. Rashad White, Phoenix, I believe this one's yeah, numbered out of 150. So he might be the lead back in Tampa Bay this upcoming year, um, and it's a numbered rookie. Uh, and I just like to look at the card, so I picked it up. CD select rookie, AJ Brown XR rookie, Devonta Adams score rookie, score, uh, Daniel Jones also. Score I know is super low end, but you know, figured he'll probably be a Hall of Famer and he might have another good year, who knows. Uh, it's Tom Brady, uh, Panini Instant from the Super Bowl Championship. Uh, it's not like numbered or anything. I thought this would have been worth something. It's like 50 cents, so I'll break even on that if I sell it. Pete Alonzo, Topps Chrome, um, like Gold Cup rookie. Not really worth much either. Jalen Weidermeyer out of 249. This is the first time I went, so I just was kind of grabbing stuff. Uh, Bryce Young first. Justin Ross select Carson Wentz numbered card. Uh, number out of 199 from Optic. Uh, you know, it's not anything to write home about it at all. Uh, probably worth 50 cents, so that was kind of a bust. Again, first time going, I was just kind of grabbing stuff, anything numbered, um, and the boxes were probably picked through a little bit before I went, um, but yeah. Uh, J-Dub, rookie, Quinn Williams, two optic rookies there, Amon Ra, Prism rookie, Brian Cook at a 999, Mac Jones mosaic, Kenny Wang Wu, Green Mosaic, Demontis Sabonis, this is numbered, I think. Yeah, 249, he had a great year. Numbered Dion at 299, Samari Torre at a 399, you know, kind of no name or whatever. Gerald McCoy, Topps Chrome Rookie. All right, these are the ones I decided to top load, so these are the more uh, significant ones, I guess you could say. So lots of quarterback rookies in these, running back rookies, numbered cards, things like that. So as I mentioned, I picked up a few of these Player of the Day cards, Justin Fields Rookie. There's another Justin Fields Rookie. I know he's in college uni, but still. Uh, it's Father's Day, so I, Justin Fields, anything Justin Fields rookie, I'm going to pick it up for 50 cents. Justin Jefferson Chronicles rookie, Jamar Chase absolute rookie, Tyler Boyd non-red press proof um, rookie. Uh, a few different C.D. Lamb rookie cards I haven't really seen much of besides Crown Royale. T.J. Watt silver, A.J. Brown rookie out of Unparalleled. I found a few different A.J. Brown rookies, which is surprising to me. Richard Sherman, Phoenix numbered out of 99. Cooper Cup. Uh, numbered out of 249, uh, CMC rookie, Jonathan Taylor numbered out of 99 there, 
Another Adrian Brown rookie, this one Prism, this one Select. Brandon Ayuk, I believe this is his second year, um, but numbered out of 199, he's also a stud. And then a Debo Samuel Phoenix rookie. The ones I'm gonna show you from um, yesterday when I went uh, in a second here, those I haven't put in top loaders yet, but I will after the video. So I'm just gonna go through these really quickly so we can get to yesterday's stuff. So Christian McCaffrey Spellbound out of Elite, it's numbered out of 349, those are always good to pick up. Amir Smith Marset, Pro Set Prospect. I only picked it up because it's out of seven. Devontae Adams Mystique out of Illusions, and this is numbered out of 399. Anquan Bolden out of 100. Got these two Adrian Petersons. Uh, this one's out of 299. This one's out of 149. A Cooper Cup rated rookie. Um, not everything's in the best condition. Either way, Cooper Cup rookie is probably five, six dollar card, if uh, maybe a little bit more. I really don't know. Christian McCaffrey numbered card out of 99. This is a uh, Terrell Davis out of 50. DeAndre Hopkins, 50 out of 50, a bookend. It's numbered out of 50 of a guy who probably will be a Hall of Famer if he, you know, continues on for the next few years. Matt Corral, silver. Obviously, he's not going to be the guy in Carolina, but he might be traded. Uh, he might end up the backup. But yeah, he'll get a chance at some point, I really hope, at least. Uh, he'll either get traded this season or next season, or he'll just remain the backup. Once he gets a starting role, I'll just, you know, offload them for the most part, probably. Uh, maybe hold on to a few and then see how he does. Malik Willis, um, this was from the National, and it's numbered to 499. Another guy, same situation, probably not the guy in Tennessee. They just brought Will Levis in, but I know the reports are Malik Willis has gotten better. Will Levis is not that great. Um, I don't know. It's a numbered rookie, so why not? Jamin Davis, these are weird. These are like the stickers, and this one's numbered out of 99, so not a great player. Uh, he was a first round pick though. 50 cents. Again, it, I can't really go too wrong with most of these. If I lose, I lose, but I don't think any of these cards are worth less than 50 cents. Uh, at bare minimum, they're break even. Uh, then we got this Boye Mafe rated rookie, Press Proof. It's numbered out of 100. I think he was an underrated rookie from um, this past year. Zach Martin, parallel rookie at a score. Low end product, but a guy who will most likely be a, uh, a Hall of Famer, I hope. Another one of these Collegiate Justin Fields from uh, Father's Day, PNE Father's Day. I got this cool uh, Trevor Lawrence Leaf VIP from the National, Chicago 2021. Um, I found a few like variant sort of like lower end Leaf rookies and things like that in the bins there. Um, so I pick them up every time. Again, it's a, it's a good player, so it's not like I'm losing anyway. I found two Justin Herbert Chronicles rookies in there. Not in the best condition. I believe they have a corner ding or something on it. But you know, Justin Herbert's Justin Herbert. I'm going to pick it up. Rookie 50 cents piece. And this one was awesome. Uh, DJ Moore, number to 25 rookie out of uh, Playbook. Again, not a high-end set or anything, but it's a DJ Moore rookie numbered out of 25. I hope he has a good year in Chicago. hope Chicago can do something. So, yeah, that's all of the pickups from the card store over the past last few trips there, I guess. See all these top-loaded cards here. And then all of these just penny sleeve cards. So now I'll get into the main event here, um, pickups from yesterday. Um, I've just been getting into soccer. My housemate's a big uh, U.S. Men's National Team fan. He's also a Man City fan. Um, so I've just been watching all the games with him. I watched the Gold Cup. Unfortunately, we lost in the semifinals to Panama, but we were playing like garbage, so we kind of deserved it. I think he's going to be good. I just picked up a few of his other cards off eBay as well, or uh, Comp C as well. So investing in him a little bit, not like throwing hundreds of dollars into him or anything like that, but... I could share those uh, in a different video if you want. But yeah, Cade Cal there, Top's Finest, Cade Cal, Cole Palmer, rookie card. It's numbered out of 150. Prize footballers, Cade Cal. I got the gold version of this from Com C. I think I'm going to grade the gold one. Uh, so this is a second year card, technically. And then Brenner, Pitch Prodigies. So now into mainly football. Uh, I believe there might be some, maybe there's like one or two baseball cards in here. Oh, I'll show this off as well. Since we're on the topic of soccer, I also picked up this uh, Pulisic, Pulisic, whatever everybody wants to say. It's like a hyper breakaway prism, whatever they call it, uh, for four bucks, as you can see. It goes for about eight or ten, I think, um, from what I remember looking up comps. All right, now we'll get into the main event here. Uh, the bins I I went through yesterday were absolutely stacked. There's a ton of autos, a ton of um, good rookies, a lot of numbered cards, um, silver rookies, uh, jerseys. It was it was insane, uh, way better than I've ever seen. So we got this Adam Thielen red zone out of 100 here. It's out of absolute from 2019. And another Adam Thielen numbered card since I select 2021. 
175. There's cool looking parallel numbered. Uh, here begins my run on Alexander Madison rookies. There were an unbelievable amount of Alexander Madison rookies. I believe I picked up all of them. If not, I left one or two. But we have the Elite Series rookie here, two Optic rookies, Raider rookies right here. And then there's more to come later on. Antoine Winfield, rookie, uh, 399. It's a solid safety for the Bucks. AJ Dillon, Prism Silver. I have this numbered um, Antoine Wesley uh, bowl ticket, numbered out of 99. It's not a big name whatsoever, um, but a numbered rookie ticket of a guy. You know, somebody collects him. Uh, maybe I sell it for five bucks, you know. Another Antoine Wesley rookie. I might lot them up. Uh, Silver Prism draft picks. Autographs for 50 cents are great a kilo witherspoon rookie ticket aren't many posted actually and um, the ones that, that sold were surprisingly higher than i thought i think it goes for at minimum five dollars so that's kind of cool there brady white uh, leaf xrc pro set prospect uh, numbered out of 25 there's an auto of him in here so i kind of bought it to pair with that and post in a lot aaron jones this is that other one that i mentioned i know we're at a 99 so pretty cool there select silver or select prism whatever it's called of uh, antonio gibson there's a good amount of him in there as well um, antonio gibson rated rookie the blue hyper there too and we got andy isabella here he didn't exactly pan out the way that cardinals had wanted uh, but this is numbered at 299 it's a blue aqua whatever you want to call it so yeah, we have the rated rookie there at, at a 299 and then his uh draft picks prism auto right there uh, i don't know why that took so long to get out of my mouth um yeah, post that as a lot as well. Then we have this 2015 Prism Brian Bennett uh, rookie auto. It's probably worth about a dollar. I just love the look of Prism autos. It's a cool looking card. It's a rookie auto. Maybe this is somebody's favorite quarterback. It's Southeastern Louisiana. It's not the biggest school, uh, you know, but it's still cool. Brett Rippian Prism draft picks auto. He got some playing time last year. It's another one, another Aaron Jones right there at a 99, cornering the market on those. All right, almost done here. Sorry, I sh I, I'm sure this is a longer video. I talk too much, so I'm going to have to figure out how to cut this down um, in future videos, how to shut myself up. Uh, AJ Dillon selects silver, rookie. There's the Brady White auto I was mentioning. It's a good-looking auto. Uh, Leaf Metal Draft. They do a great job designing their cards. Uh, numbered out of 35, so pretty low numbered. Then we got this Easton Stick Contenders Draft Picks auto here. Uh, he actually never got a chance for the Chargers because they got Justin Herbert and he never really had a chance to start there. But he's still the backup there. If Herbert goes down, I believe he's the next man up. Next is this Austin Bryant Contenders Draft Picks auto. Uh, it's a mojo. It's numbered out of uh, 49. Next we have this uh, Austin Jackson rookie auto. Lyman autos are, are um pretty hot commodity once the Lyman starts playing well. So I don't know. We'll see. Got this Amari Cooper Donruss press proof numbered out of 50. Got some Calvin Ridley rookies here as well. Uh, the Prism rookie impact and the rated rookie optic. Um, these, I love these cards just because it's Josh Allen's rookie year. I just love the look of them. And it, I, immediately as I look at them, I uh, associated with Josh Allen. Obviously I haven't found those in there. We'll see what he does in Jacksonville this year. Again, back to, I just really like Prism. Um, so Prism, Prism rookie auto, Cameron Artis Payne, you know, didn't really work out all that well, but 99. Kind of a color match, I guess, if you want to stretch it. It's a different blue, but still cool. Ed Oliver rookie card, had to select, number to 149. I'm more of a PC pickup, I love Ed, and we just re-signed him to a three or four year deal, I think it's four years. And as I mentioned, I find these like weird kind of variants of the lower end rookies. So I found this Will Levis Tops Industry Conference from Bowman, uh, Bowman U. He listens to old Justin Bieber songs before games. Enjoys singing, but only in the shower. Right. I don't know how he's going to end up. I don't know how well he'll do. There's only one sold, I think, or maybe two. Oh, there's one sold on eBay. Um, it went for like a dollar something, but it went at bid. And, you know, this can easily be missed by somebody. Uh, and the buyer might have just gotten a steal there. So I don't know if it actually is worth a lot, but there's only like two others listed and they're on Comp C and they're up for like $15 plus. So if I list mine for, you know, eight or something, maybe it goes. We'll see. I have these two Josh Allen rookies. I already have these. I usually only pick them up if I don't have them yet, but I know they go for three or four bucks pretty consistently, if at the minimum two. Um, so I could just, you know, these are easy sells, especially on whatnot. You know, people will be asking for QBs and, you know, throw these up. Any Josh Allen rookie I will take for 50 cents. All right, so these are more of the big hitters, I guess, the better finds. Um, of the trip. So as I mentioned, there was definitely a big run on Alexander Madison. So we got the rookies from Donruss, Prism, Prism. They have this red um, rookie phenoms patch out of Donruss, a numbered uh, out of 199 absolute rookie of Alexander Madison. 
Prism patch, uh, silver patch for Alexander Madison, his rookie year as well. Another optic rookie, a Donruss rookie, press proof out of 100. Uh, I can't believe these were in there. Uh, another Prism patch there. I just couldn't believe that, that those were placed in there. I don't know who was sorting the boxes, but they must have made an error putting all of the Alexander Madisons in there. They have another box where they can price things at, you know, the 2 to $20 range, and those would all fall under that, so I'm not sure why they didn't. Uh, Elijah Vera Tucker Auto. Traylon Burks Rookie. This is also from uh, the National. It's numbered at 4 dollars just like the Malik Willis. He's playing really well until he got hurt. I also pulled a really nice auto of his, uh, which I could show off in another video as well if you want to see that. Um, and I'm going to send that one in for grading. So I'm, I'm kind of rooting for him a good bit. Uh, we'll see what happens though. I've said it 800 times, but you know, 50 cents. I can't, I can't turn down most of these for 50 cents. I was freaking out. Um, so Bobby Wagner numbered out of 50 is another one of those Panini something or yeah, Panini day cards. So going to be a hall of famer, no doubt. Uh, it's numbered out of 50. Cool looking card. Ezra Cleveland, rookie auto. Antonio Gibson, there was a good amount of him in the, in the boxes that I passed on just because they were like base kind of boring rookies, but this one was numbered out of 49. I was really surprised to find these in there. Uh, I've been looking for Brian Burns. He is uh, one of the guys that I've had my eyes on. Uh, he's been really, really, really good despite Carolina being bad. He is unbelievably talented. Um, and I found this red, white, and blue rookie at a prism, which is worth, I think, five, six bucks on its own. Then I also found this rookie auto. Uh, I know it's hit. Um, it's really lower end product. Um, but I mean, rookie auto of a guy who's, I think he's been a pro baller already. Um, I have, I'm very hopeful for his career. I think he's going to have a really, really good career. It's on card too. That's an unbelievable find for 50 cents. I don't know what it goes for. Maybe 10, 12 bucks, but still. Then these two, uh, I'll show this one off first. This one is awesome. It's a Bobby Bonilla card. Uh, Bobby bonus is what the set's called. I believe it's from card tunes. Uh, it's from 93. So kind of just making fun of Bobby Bonilla and there's a whole set of them, I think. Uh, but this is incredible. Look at that. So I just thought this was hilarious. I've never seen this before. Never heard of this card. I even tried to look it up on eBay and I couldn't find it. I don't know if it's worth all that much, but this thing is awesome. And lastly, this one was incredible. Uh, Brian Erlacher, Donruss Elite, 2001, numbered out of 54 die cut. I believe this is a, yeah, it's a throwback. So it's 2021, 20 year anniversary they did this. Um, but I mean, this this is an awesome card. It's a gold die cut of a Hall of Famer. One sold for about 20 and there's one up right now for about 18. So I might put mine up for 12, 15 or so, and that should be a quick flip there. So really happy about all of those. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of getting to see what I picked up. Um, I look forward to doing more of these videos, especially. I love going to those boxes just for a few hours, just picking through um, and seeing what I can find. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know what you wanna see in the future, uh, future videos. You know, this is the first video obviously on the channel and i'm looking forward to making some content uh, i'm gonna do that sgc reveal in a video as well once i get the cards back it's supposed to be a two-week turnaround my card got there my cards were dropped off two days ago um so you know it should be there should be back around the 28th or so hit subscribe if you want if you want to see some more stuff like this i look forward to making more videos such as this uh, as well as to do some ebay pickups recent pickups from mercari ebay facebook etc i might do some videos where I'm showing off cards that I want to grade, I might show off my PC. I have a few different ideas for videos. So yeah, SGC video will be out probably within the next two weeks or so, maybe a little bit longer than that. Depends on when they get here. Uh, it's a 16 card order. Um, and yeah, nothing super insane in that order, but stuff that I kind of just wanted to get graded. Some of it I wanted to flip, some of it I want to keep. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And uh, yeah, peace.